In the Portrait Gallery of English Critics, compiled by the pioneer photographers Mrs. Elliot and Fry of Brighton, the face of George, Lord Harris, stares out from its monochrome utopia with the assurance of a man who has been born for the express purpose of telling others how to behave. Undaunted by the heresies of the new, bold with the fearlessness of a man convinced he has nothing to hide, he gazes full face at a point just behind the viewer's left shoulder, or, to put it in the terminology of the game he loved so dearly, the general area of backward short leg. The polka-dotted bow tie, nestling in perfect symmetry under the eaves of the stiff white collar, matches the spotted waistcoat, whose slightly debonair effect is nicely balanced by the stern propriety of the single-breasted black jacket. His hair has recently been trimmed, probably in preparation for the portrait, and under it the bushy eyebrows jut protectively over wide, stern eyes. And it is those eyes that give the game away. It comes as no surprise to find, even in Wisdom's psychophantic obituary, certain veiled references to Lord Harris's tendency to rant and rave whenever the argument was not going his way.